Hi there! Today I'm going to teach you how to paint marble. And uh, to this effect I will be using a, a very, very beautiful miniature from uh, Legacy. That's, uh, I think that they, they deal with Cool Mini or not for, for their distribution. See, look at that, just look at that. It's so full of details. This is one of the old Rackham miniatures uh, that were redone in resin by Legacy Miniatures. Completely, um, com the, the masters was, were completely uh, re remolded, recast. Uh, it, it was uh, painstaking, actually, uh, as I as I understand. And uh, actually, they did very well because this model is so much better than the metal model. I, I own the metal model, so I know I can compare the two. This is so much more detailed. You can see, you can feel all the textures. If you, if you touch the wings, it's not the same texture as, as if you touch this. It really has, has captured all of the details of the original sculpt. So, uh, yes, maybe these new legacy resin figures are a bit expensive, but in my opinion, some of them may be worth it, you know, because it's really, really good. It's, it's Rackham like you've never seen it before. And they really are gorgeous sculpts, are they? So anyway, this is a resin uh, sculpt that was, uh, it was uh, five or six parts, six parts, including the little horns right there. That's two parts. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty seamless. Of course, as you can see, the little cracks here are all a part of the sculpt. They're not uh, different um, pieces of the miniature. Anyway, we're going to do the, the marble. <coughs> and the marble, well, let me tell you about, about marble first. Marble is a uh, metamorphic rock uh, that uh, usually, you know, uh, it's, it's, it... Um, turns up pretty much everywhere in the world, um, except it has those wonderful colors and, and veins of, of, uh, of different stones. Uh, actually, it doesn't get that, um, that veiny marble, uh, what we know as marble uh, texture or, or, a, or a pattern, uh, until it's quite polished uh, in its natural state. It's barely noticeable that it's veiny. Uh, marbles can be of any and all colors, really. It's um, it's very hard to 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 uh, to catalog because there are so many many marbles. The advantage of of that is, of course, you can pretty much paint it any color you want, any set of colors you want, even pinks and greens and browns and reds and mix it all together. It doesn't matter. You painted the color you want and I'm pretty sure there's a marble of that color somewhere in nature, which is really interesting when you think about it. Anyway, this one we're going to paint it um, a bit, uh, a bit uh, uh, un un characteristically for this uh, for this model perhaps we're going to paint it green because I like it um, so uh, we'll have this thing in uh, yes we'll use coal black from Privateer Press uh, the P3 color coal black let me show you the P3 color coal black is actually believe it or not a very dark green, very dark blue green. So let's see there what we can have. Yes. You may not be able to see it quite clearly on camera, but trust me, it's green. Next, we're going to use um, this lovely 
that's called carapace green and that's a uh, sort of a kittenous turquoise dark turquoise here we're going to put that here it's also dark but a bit ugh. it just blurted out but never mind see it's slightly different this is more green this is a little bluer this is more green now for every uh, sort of highlights I uh, think we're going to need um, yes perhaps this one it's a dark green but it's not really dark I mean I'll show you how dark it is in a minute this is dark green from the coat d'arms range it's not really that dark here you see especially when you compare it to the other two so and for the final final highlights and of, of our marble I'm going to use some perhaps I'll put some veins of, of ivory in there so uh, I will put it here. It will sit quite comfortably. There. This is ivory, this is also bleached bone, and this is also, incidentally, uh, the Menoth white highlight. I call it ivory because it's so much simpler. I mean, this is the same color, really. Ivory from Vallejo, uh, Menoth white highlight from P3. Bleachbone from Games Workshop. So let's start right away. We'll start by having a little bit of that coat dance green, which is our base coat. right on these columns well this column really I stop where the monster starts you know sometimes it's a bit difficult to to see but the sculpt is precise enough that it's noticeable. I'm using a slightly fine brush for this only because I need to be a bit precise about where this all stops but you could use pretty much any odd size such as number one brush, number two brush. This is the equivalent of a number one brush, I think, in most ranges. Problem with brushes is that they, uh, the ranges don't have clear correspondences. The casting is really flawless. I have seldom seen anything like it. There were maybe, no, there was one mold line. It was very easily discarded. And there was uh, one bubble on the miniature's base and not on the miniature itself. And it was very easily filled. So uh, that's perhaps not cheap, but then again, it's the price of fine cast, and 
for about, I don't know, 10 times the quality. Let's see, that's a good deal. Let's not forget this bit here. I think this is one of the little columns of marble that got detached from somewhere. The rest might just be rubble, actually. <coughs> In retrospect, it's possible that you'll have perhaps a, a little trouble painting this bit inside here. This bit of the column and this bit of the, of the miniature itself. But no matter, because this wing, this wing actually comes off, well, comes off. It, uh, it comes separately, so you can, if you want, lay it on the side, paint it separately to access all the little details in here, and then put it all together. So this is pretty much all right. Hmm. I think I'll have a little more paint, more green paint here. And we'll start right away to mottle our marble. Marble has little zones, the little areas. What people don't realize it is that marble doesn't just have veins. Marble has, marble is, is actually, um, has actually little, little, almost like little compartments, large areas that are darker or lighter, depending upon said veins and minerals in them. So we'll mottle it away. This is just the same base color, by the way. I'm only doing it either lighter or darker, where it strikes my fancy, because I've primed my miniature white, and I can here do so. See? can still see by transparency the uh, the uh, priming I've used. I think I'll have it this way. Yes. Not bad. Not bad at all. So the, that mottled irregular effect is actually what I want. I'll, oh yes, I forgot a bit here. Well, didn't forget, but yeah, this is supposed to be green as well. Yes. This part, uh, the top of the column, uh, and these these rubbles and that will be done in another type of marble later on. Now, while this dries, uh, well, I'll tell you what I what I'll do. I will uh, shade it a bit with the uh, coal black and the um, carapace green, with a mix of those greens and the base color actually. And uh, while I'm doing that, at the same time, we'll keep on uh, 
muddling a bit with the mucking about mucking about a bit mucking about a bit with the the different zones that are darker or lighter you know so it won't be a strict shadowing or highlighting it will be a bit of a mix of the two really Take, take, always taking advantage of the uh, lightness of the priming because when I do marble I do like to have a white priming and don't don't pre-shade that you see so we'll start out with mixing carapace green and this green the lovely dark green from coat d'arms most people have never heard of it, but actually Code Dams is the, um, the one who used to do colors for Citadel. So, I'm shading, I'm trying to get some shade in there. Well, actually, all over here, because light will come from the top of the miniature so I'll endeavor to shade right under this top under this wing it's supposedly shaded here as well in that little groove Let's grab more of that lovely mix. Shade underneath here. This should all be very dark. Well, darker at least. There are very clear marbles and very dark marbles. There are all sorts of marbles, as I've said. Black marbles are very beautiful. White marbles are like uh, the one from Carrari in, in, in Italy. The Italian marbles are very beautiful. Don't hesitate to study different photographs or different marbles in reality, actually, to uh, get a better result. I know how, how marble is because, well, it's, uh, I've been doing this a while, but um, if you're not familiar with exactly what marble is, how it works, how it is tainted, if you've only seen a few pictures or if you have misconceptions about marble, which pretty much everyone does, if you haven't really studied it in uh, in detail in art or in say um, by visiting museums then chances are you know you haven't really looked at marble yet most people don't And if you have, which is entirely possible, of course, if you have looked at marble in detail, then more power to you. I mean, this is good. There. This is a bit more lit, but still in the shadow of that beast. What a lovely gargoyle. Well, it's not actually a gargoyle, it's more of a grotesque. Those gargoyles have uh, pipes coming through their um, shall we say digestive tract. I'll keep shading with that carapace green 
I, I've added a little more carapace green to the mix and now this is my second shading if I can recenter perhaps there right behind there it should be it should be darker I think this central column is also in my opinion perhaps something darker be mindful that the carapace green is actually a little shiny from the one from Vallejo at least so uh, I know it is I'm using it for that purpose because marble polished marble at least is a little shiny but it can be surprising to some Now I will use pure dark green from Code Darms to blend perhaps a little more here while the paint is still a bit fresh to get it lit up or to, to, to blend these these light colors here. Sometimes we don't need to blend as much as mottle a bit because marble is not exactly a regular. 